hello two different ways that i give myself a nose job the first way of contouring my nose is giving myself pretty much a bridge and a nose job and the second way is getting rid of my nose <laughs> Let's do this. You're gonna need a contour shade, your favorite little blush, pretty shimmery highlighter. Personally, between you and me, I don't like using cream contour on my nose. Just because I don't know why it feels like it just would clog my pores more. Usually we start off with the base, right? You wanna have a base because you wanna even everything out. You wanna cover this redness because it creates a shadow around your nose as well. And the first way, we're gonna flatten out our nose and we're gonna shrink the size of it. This is gonna give you more of like a cute look. I really like doing Doing this personally you don't have to do this step but i just feel like it just adds the perfect cherry on top and usually when you do this you put blush over your nose it also shrinks your nose especially if you're bringing the blush to the sides of the nose like right here it flattens everything out a little bit and i don't bring it too close down so i'm keeping it up here add more color into the center now, you're gonna take your contour shade. I'm using the Kevin Aquan. You can see I use this medium a lot. I really like the Kevin Aquan one because they have a cooler tone, except for this one. This one is a little, has a bit of warmth in it. The cooler the contour shade, the more natural shadow it's gonna create. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush like this. This is by Makeup Revolution, the Scholar. I think it's an eyeshadow brush. Go in the Sculpting Deep, right above my tip right here. So right here, I'm gonna create the U. You see how it already like we're gonna keep most of the darkness right in the center right there, and we're gonna bring it down to the sides. You don't want it to have a harsh line, so make sure you blend it out and you're blending it up a little bit so it creates a natural shadow. So now it looks like my nose kind of has a bit of a slope. I put the brush against my nose right here at the bottom of the tip, and I just contour that. And what that's gonna do, it's gonna give your nose a bit of a lift because it's creating a shadow down here. So it shortens up your nose and it gives your nose a lift. We're gonna bring it from your nostrils up to create a shadow of the tip and then just kind of blend everything together we're not putting an emphasis on the bridge because we're trying to kind of flatten our nose and this usually shrinks the center of your face and so i'm going in with the sculpting deep again and i'm flattening this bridge right here and then i also like to bring it into my eyelids just a little bit just to make sure it's blended and it's going to create a dimension that your nose is coming out and starting out from here can you see? I feel like on camera it looks kind of crazy. Now, sometimes I go in with a bit of blush one more time just to blend everything together. Now we're gonna add the highlight. You can use any highlight. Sometimes I use powder. Sometimes I use something super, super shimmery like this. At the tip of the nose, just under that contour, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny line because you want it to be a small, small beam. It makes the tip look even smaller and pointier. Just a little bit on the bridge. This is my favorite part. You don't have to do this, but I just find that it just makes everything look incredible. What we're gonna do is we're going to to add freckles. This is favorite, favorite, favorite product. Water resistant full freckles by Pseudo Labs. Freckles spelled with PH. This is on shade number two. You can either do spot freckles or something that looks very, very natural. So usually what I do is I put this against my nose vertically and just get the spoolie to spray like that. And if you could see, it sprays tiny little freckles everywhere. And that makes it look super, super natural, especially when you start to spread them with your fingers. And every time I use this product, you guys, people ask me, are those your natural freckles? They look so real. And then I usually add three little dots right there and then one up there. But you can play around with how many freckles. This is number one. This is probably the way that I contour my nose almost every day, just because it's super subtle and then just makes my face look a little bit shorter. And I just, I feel like it looks cute, you know? Let me just add a bit of lipstick so we get, we get the full effect here. If you're curious, this is Glossier Generation G in Zip. Now I'm gonna show you guys method number two, which is the complete opposite. We're bringing out a whole bridge and it makes my nose look a lot more prominent in my face. It literally looks like a nose job. Start with our base again. This is the Eau Maquillage Fucking Flawless Concealer. It's one of my favorite every day. Okay, just because I like the way the look of the blush on the nose looks, I'm gonna add it. But if you wanna emphasize your nose and the bridge a little bit more, maybe try without it just to see how you like the difference. So this part, some parts are similar so the part down here is pretty much the same down to the sides and a u bottom again the tip the way we're going to contour our nose is going to make our nose look like it has a bridge coming in then my nose is flipping up right i'm gonna bring this contour up just a little bit just a tad bit again keeping the darkness in the center with sculpting deep i'm gonna emphasize this area of my nose to bring out the center bridge right so we're not gonna add a shadow here like we did in the first part add a shadow right there in the shape of a c 
because we all have this little nose bridge right here and when you create this shadow here it's gonna just look a lot more natural rather than bringing it all the way down and then we're gonna blend this into the eyelids emphasizing this divot that i have in here already so now you can see this is already way way emphasized and you can play with the thickness i kind of just follow this natural shadow that i have here and then this is where i would kind of go with sculpting medium a little bit more just because i don't like when the contour on my nose is too dark but that's just my personal preference now bring a shadow here and it's kind of going to be in a v shape we're starting where this shadow right here is and then we're going to connect it up to this shadow up here you see that i'm going in a v motion you can see it's creating this effect right here now with my blush brush or you can use a clean brush i'm gonna go over everything just to blend everything a bit together and now for this part something to keep in mind is that if you bring your shadow all the way out here it's gonna keep an emphasis on the wideness of your nose right here so you don't want this contour shade to come out all the way sometimes when that happens it can kind of inevitably happen as you're blending i go in with powder that's my skin color or a clear powder i'm gonna use a flat brush like this sculpt out where the shadow comes out can you see what i mean like this side already looks so much smaller because it looks like it's part of my cheek sculpting right there and making sure it's blended now my nose bridge actually looks really really skinny because this looks like it's just part of my cheek and then i'm bringing that same shade and i'm slightly using it on the nostrils now the base is a little bit more even and i wanted to have that blush effect i'm gonna go in with my blush Again, because I just like how that looks. You don't have to do this. Highlight for this is a little bit different. Again, at the very tip right here. If you're wondering, this is a metallic cream shadow by Makeup Revolution. Instead of putting an, a highlight right here, you're going to put a highlight on the bridge up here. It's going to start a little bit wider and then you're going to bring it down to about right here. Because now the illusion is that the nose is doing this. And that is the second method. I hope you could see the difference in the camera. Maybe if I bring my light right here. It looks like I have a tall bridge on my nose. And my nose just looks a lot thinner with this method too. The other one is a little bit more cuter button nose. And this one is more of a thin and taller bridge. Anyways. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, those are the two ways that I contour my nose. But I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions or if you try it out. And I hope you enjoyed this video.